Hi, this is David Bean Cooley from TV Worth Watching. We're doing Best TV tomorrow for Wednesday, September 16th. If I sound unusually subdued, it's because the thing I want to point you to is a very difficult to watch documentary. At least it was difficult for me, but I'm recommending it because of how tasteful it was. It's on Netflix. It's a four part documentary called Challenger The Last Flight. And I don't think I have to tell you why that's worth uh, four parts of a documentary or why it's difficult to watch. But it's worth it. There was a groove which the O-ring, both the primary and the secondary O-rings, fit in those grooves. Uh, and there was a little flange and tang that, that they came together. And the, the, in order to stop the gas from, from going around and, and escaping, when the initial uh, bit of gas hit the first primary O-ring, that pressure would push the O-ring into the little space between the, the flange and the tang, and that would make the seal. In other words, the O-ring was not in a sealing configuration when it was just sitting statically on the launch pad. It has to move dynamically at the moment of ignition to be able to make the seal. And the requirement for it to move quickly is why it was dependent on temperature because lower temperatures, less flexibility, and not so rapid reconfiguration of the O-ring.